How to have fun with your hamster. Playing with your hamster provides her with the stimulation she needs to stay healthy. And whether you are letting your little furry friends crawl all over you or watching her conquer a maze, playing with your hamster is great fun. However, you must handle your hamster properly to ensure her safety while playing inside or outside of her cage. Handling your hamster safely. Let sleeping hamsters lie. Hamsters sleep most of the day and are most active in the evening and night. If you wake your hamster, they might be grumpy and resistant to handling. Always let your hamster wake up on their own before playing with him, her. Wash your hands first. Hamsters have a very keen sense of smell. It is important that you wash all food scents off your hands, or your hamster may bite you. Rub your hands in clean hamster bedding. The smell of bedding will make your hamster feel safer in your hands. Hand tame your hamster. Before you can play with your hamster outside their cage, you need to get them used to being handled by you. Start by feeding your hamster treats from your hand. When your hamster approaches you without fear, try letting them play in your hand. When they are comfortable there, pick them up. Gradually increase the amount of time you hold your hamster. Always let your hamster sniff at your closed fist before attempting to pick them up. Do not surprise them. Always handle your hamster over a table or while sitting on the ground. Otherwise, your hamster might suffer a serious injury if they squirm out of your grasp. A fall of only one foot can seriously injure a hamster. If your hamster tries to squirm away or bites you, put it back in its cage. It is tired of being held. Always let your hamster sniff at your closed fist before attempting to pick them up. Do not surprise them. Always handle your hamster over a table or while sitting on the ground. Otherwise, your hamster might suffer a serious injury if they squirm out of your grasp. A fall of only one foot can seriously injure a hamster. If your hamster tries to squirm away or bites you, put it back in its cage. It is tired of being held. Make sure your hamster cannot escape when playing outside their cage. Play with your hamster in an enclosed area. Be aware that hamsters can escape through very small spaces, such as under doors, so you will need to keep your pet under supervision when playing outside its cage. Don't play in an area with a small space that your hamster can squeeze into to hide, such as underneath couches or drawers. Bathrooms are convenient enclosed space to play in, but be sure to shut the toilet lid. Consider purchasing a hamster playpen to make sure your pet can't escape. It should be larger than the hamster's cage. Also consider covering the pen with a mesh screen so your pet can't escape. Purchasing a child's wading pool is an easy way to provide an enclosed, inexpensive play space. Don't play in an area with a small space that your hamster can squeeze into to hide, such as underneath couches or drawers. Bathrooms are convenient enclosed space to play in, but be sure to shut the toilet lid. Consider purchasing a hamster playpen to make sure your pet can't escape. It should be larger than the hamster's cage. Also consider covering the pen with a mesh screen so your pet can't escape. Purchasing a child's waiting pool is an easy way to provide an enclosed, inexpensive play space. Remove any hazards when playing outside the cage. If it's there, your hamster will probably chew on it. Be sure to remove all electrical cords from the area where your hamster is playing. Also remove any toxic plants, such as azalea, daffodil, oleander, speedwell, buttercups, bindweed, bluebells, ragwort, elder, hemlock, and privet. For a complete list of toxic plants, see class equals external text href equals http colon slash slash www.peteducation.com slash article dot cfm question mark c equals 18 plus 19 14 and amp 8 equals 16 16 greater than here. Be careful when playing with your hamster on a table or counter. Hamsters have almost no instinctual fear of falling, and a tumble off a high table or counter can seriously injure your pet. Don't leave your hamster alone in high places, and always be on hand to keep them from falling. Remove your other pets from the room when playing with your hamster out of the cage. Imagine sharing a room with a giant monster that wants to eat you not fun. Even if your hamster is safe, they will find the presence of your dog or cat stressful. Know how to recapture your hamster if they escape. If your hamster gets loose, all is not lost. Having a plan in advance can ward off panic and make it much more likely you will find your pet. 
Search near the hamster's cage first. Look in small places, behind and underneath furniture, in between cushions on sofas and chairs, on bookshelves, in drawers, and inside shoes, tissues boxes, and shoe boxes. If your search fails, leave the cage open and place your hamster's favorite food near and inside it. Turn out the lights and wait for your hamster to come. If that fails, set out some food before you go to sleep and surround it with flour so that your hamster's tracks lead you back to its hiding place. Search near the hamster's cage first, look in small places, behind and underneath furniture, in between cushions on sofas and chairs, on bookshelves, in drawers, and inside shoes, tissues boxes, and shoe boxes. If your search fails, leave the cage open and place your hamster's favorite food near and inside it. Turn out the lights and wait for your hamster to come. If that fails, set out some food before you go to sleep and surround it with flour so that your hamster's tracks lead you back to its hiding place.